That's Joining us right now. <laughs> Sixers legend, Rockets legend, Kings legend, a legend legend. I think he does karaoke. That's no, him. I suck. No, we just heard you singing, Kenny. Kenny, okay. I, I was barely singing. I don't know if you guys really, really heard me, man. The arbitrator yeah, but... of the, uh, the arbiter of the hard hat. Yes. Yeah, buddy. How you doing, bud? Man, I'm good. How are you guys doing? I appreciated you giving the hard hat to the fan after they clinched. That was a that was a nice uh, that was a nice touch, dude. They just man, as bad as as bad as I want to take the credit, uh, <laughs> my the the producer, uh, Anthony. It was his idea. I can't take that. It was great. Um, you sold I it gave, though. Uh, thank you. I gave you some love though, Dave. Oh, they I kept showing you on the- TV, man. Yeah, I know that was. That and I kept was- saying, "My guy, Dave." A uh, well, you know what? I did hear you plug the show, didn't you? Yes, I, I sure did. Look at you. Yeah, all always. That's a given, man. Uh, Ken, the least nobody- I could do. Hey, man. Nobody. You know what? Nobody plugs like you, Ken. You you say what you want. <laughs> Kenny knows Kenny knows how to get mentions in. We appreciate that. And here we go. Now you got a ton of new people tuning in now that they heard that on the broadcast at nine o'clock. Kenny, how long do you, uh, if you're a player, how long do you allow yourself to celebrate a Pacific Division championship before you go, okay, Ooh. more work to be done? Come on, man. At least a little bit. Uh, they haven't done it in over 20 years, right? Um, and then those last two teams actually went pretty far in the playoffs um, from that perspective. But I mean, the Kings, not not only did they clinch, but obviously they are Pacific Division leaders. And, man, it, it was nice because last night I was able to post. Um, it felt good. Um, the love was there and the people giving all kinds of love. And the fact that the Kings are back where they are, where not where they are, back where they should be. But it's just taking a little while, man. I'm, I'm really, really, really excited. When you look back now, Kenny, at the this season – how did this happen? Like, what would you say is the, the biggest reason for this? I mean, it's really a dramatic turnaround for this organization. I mean, obviously, Monty um, did an unbelievable job this offseason. I think the acquisition of Mac Brown, I mean, Mike Brown was huge. Excuse me. Um, this is a this is a guy that's been around the league for a while. He's coached on a couple of different teams. Obviously, he came from the Warriors to where he knows how to win and you can tell that the offense of the Kings is basically being implemented like it's Warriors offense, because I love the fact that there's consistently movement and the fact that a lot of things go through Draymond Green, which is basically what's happening with Sabonis, because Sabonis is that cornerstone as far as like taking a lot of load off of even like Darren Fox from starting the offense, if it's a dribble handoff or whatever it may be, because it's taking a lot of pressure off of him. And then at the same time, I think it's opening up the floor for the other guys to be able to play great basketball because it's kind of it's kind of like when I was playing with Mike Bibby and, and, and Bobby and Peja and those guys, you always move to the ball. Peja was always tracking the ball down, trying to get the ball because he was a great shooter. Kenny Thomas with us. So, uh, yeah, what do we do now, Kenny? We uh, won the Pacific Division. I mean, you know, playoffs are my, coming. My only thing is is that some of these teams that they're supposed to be beating, um, they're losing to, right, to a certain yeah. extent. Obviously, they're a better team on the road than they are at home. Um, they're over 500 in on both sides. But say, for instance, like the last game, um, that was just at home. I forgot which one it was, but it was San Antonio? Yeah, San Antonio. Yeah, yeah they were supposed to clinch. Like, you can't. Right. You can't necessarily lose to a team like that, especially at home, right? Even though this is the NBA and it's the best of the best, and sometimes things just happen. But it seems like there wasn't any excitement or any energy out there because sometimes you have a tendency to play down to your competition. And this is the NBA. It's the best of the best. I know I keep saying that, but at the same time, you got to come out and you got to capitalize on certain games. So, Kenny, should fans be worried about that? I mean, this is great that they've got what they've deserved here, the Pacific Division Championship. They're going to host uh, round one. But the fact that that home record, it's fine. It's not amazing. The road record is very impressive. So should should that kind of season-long home record be of a concern when they get to the postseason? I think it's going to be interesting, and I think it all comes down to who they end up playing. It's going to come down to matchups. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't really – 
know what's going to happen. Obviously, it looks like the Kings are locking down that third seed. It doesn't look like Phoenix would be able to come in and try and take that away. So it's going to be, shoot, it might be the Clippers. It might be the Lakers. It might be New Orleans, who they just played very well yesterday. But um, prime example, tonight, they got to come out and dominate Dallas in Dallas, especially with them being a great road win. Because I think what Mike Brown is trying to do, and I think he – um reiterated this in um pregame um last game that he just told his guys that hey basically i'm gonna tell you when you're doing something good i'm gonna be your biggest cheerleader but i'm gonna be your biggest cheerleader when you're doing something bad so i like the fact that mike brown is still consistently teaching because that's kind of like what larry brown did for me when i was in philly it was one of those things it's like kenny just keep getting better just keep doing the things that you know that you need to do how many times did you win the deep hog chain if they had that back then? Man, I would have had that every other night, bro. Yeah. <laughs> See, I believe you. <laughs> I, I do, especially on some of those teams where defense was a bad word. Yeah, I was just about to say that because I played defense every night. I always I know rebound. Mike ain't winning it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that, Mike. That was part of my day, bro. I didn't say that. Mike was on the show this year. And Mike might be back, and Mike, nor Mike, he might be listening to this, man. I <laughs> think he might be. That, Mike. And guess what? And if Mike has a problem with it, then I will apologize immediately. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're wearing the chain. I, I, I am. I am. I am currently wearing the chain for, uh, they also give that out for uh, best eatings, you know, best <laughs> eater. Uh, Kenny, what, when you see the way they played defense last night against the Pelicans, Jason and I were talking, that, that's one of our it's not a huge win per se. It's just a really good win against a hot as you know what team on the road. They did it with a lot of defense and offense. They do that in the playoffs. They're going to make some noise. So while being happy and excited about that, is there a part of you too that's frustrated? That goes have this defensive effort in the other games too, please. Well, you know me. When it comes to defense, that's what I that's what I strive off of, right? Because that's one of the passions that I took upon myself to where I had to do that to be able to stay in the league, especially being undersized. So I needed to use my quickness to my advantage, especially with guys that are bigger. But I, I don't, I don't. The way the game has evolved, it's more offense now, and the way that defense have kind of taken a step, a, a seat back. It, it it's it kind of gets underseen to a certain extent because the Kings are putting up 120 plus points a game. Like when you have the Spurs come in and score 140 points in your house, yeah, and they don't even have their guys in like that. That's unacceptable. And it's a matter of even like in New Orleans they didn't have Zion, but at the same time Zion obviously he would come back and have a huge impact. But I don't. I don't see the Kings falling that bad, especially when it comes to defense, because once again, it offsets their offense. But the way that they were, there was one possession last night when I saw Keegan um, in front of their bench. I think it was in the second or third quarter. I can't remember, but he was in a defensive stance and the way that they were rotating on a string because one guy was probably lost from the standpoint of not being on the right guy. So you have to consistently rotate. You have to run guys off the three-point line. He did that probably three or four times in one possession. And then there was a timeout. The fact that I still see them evolving and they're staying on a string, they're helping each other on defense. And now I think once they get into a situation to where they're able to play more people, you got to realize that this team has only been together for one year and it's not even Mm -hmm. over yet. And they're young. So imagine them in like a couple of years when Keegan has like a couple of years under his belt and he's already breaking records, three point records and all that, man. I feel like then you had Kevin Herter, the way that he's a shooter, man, it's like he's throwing darts. I, I could keep talking about this team because obviously I'm excited and I'm looking forward to the postseason. Well, you can see Kenny and Kyle and everybody else on that squad. Man, all over. they're going to have us all on. All, nice. all over it for the uh, post game coverage as well. Kenny's handing out hard. We gotta start getting you to hand out hard hats on this show too. You know Man, what, what happens is is that what needs to happen is that they need to start 
bringing in a hard hat at the arena, man, because there's a couple people that have come in there with some hard hats, and I know they're not the real thing, obviously. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, even if they can make those plastic cheap ones, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, give me some love. What about this? Why don't you uh, Why don't you get together with some people you know? Why don't you start? Uh, why don't you trademark and start selling some of those canine mm. hard hats? I see what I'm saying. I, I need to find out who to talk to. I come on, bro. To to. You're, an, see, you're an enterpriser. Like, Trust me, think about it. I will get it done. Let me tell I know you, you will. because I know the head, I know the one of the ladies at the Golden One. I'm looking at getting my wine in the arena. Oh, this yeah. year. I got a cider coming out in May. And the and, and my wine and my cider's coming out in New Mexico, but my wine is from the Bay Area and my cider's from New Mexico. And also I might be I might have a vodka. I probably shouldn't be talking about this, but but I also have a mental health app, and it's called Neolth, N-E-O-L-T-H, and it's for kids and adults. And the lady that's the CEO, she actually writes grants. So if there's any nonprofits out there that's looking for some funding and to be able to help kids, and I'm getting it in states and communities, like the whole state of New Mexico, I'm looking at getting it in the school districts and all that stuff, too. Love uh, you. Kenny, feel free uh, when that wine comes out, you know, if oh, you need someone to taste uh, test. There we go. I got some bottles right. up here. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I'm Kenny. launching four. I'm launching whites and I'm and I'm launching a couple of blacks. I'm getting into total wine. Uh, yeah. I just got a lot going on, man. You know me, Dave. I do. I'm I, always doing something. I do. If, if, if there ain't a hustle going on, <laughs> something's wrong, Kenny. All right. Well, uh, you keep launching, brother. We appreciate it. And uh, we will talk to you in a week. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hey, check me out on Sunday. I got the last game, the Denver game, which is nice. going to be, is it going to be boring or is it going to mean something? But I will give my boys another shout out. Looking for the hard hat with K9. Let's I got you. It's a jingle. Yeah. <laughs> See you, buddy. Thanks, Jason. Appreciate right, you, you guys, man. All, All right, right, you guys have a good care. one. You too. Thanks, Jason.